Hello everyone, this is Geo Echidna, and in this video I'm going to compare the Lancaster Repeater in Red Dead Redemption 2 with its real-life equivalents, which are actually part of the Winchester series of rifles. The Lancaster is a fabricated name that the game developers made up, presumably to avoid paying licensing fees to the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. In Red Dead Redemption 2, the Lancaster is a lever-action rifle with a relatively high rate of fire and a large magazine capacity. While not particularly powerful, it gives the player the ability to send a lot of lead downrange very quickly, and is useful in most combat scenarios. And if Deadeye is enabled, you can easily kick the living shit out of a small group of enemies. The Lancaster Repeater is an overall excellent gun in Red Dead, and is perhaps the most versatile weapon in the entire game. But what about the Lancaster's real-life Winchester counterparts? How do they work, and where did the idea come from? The first proper Winchester rifle was actually an improved derivative of the 1860 Henry rifle, a lever-action rifle that was itself actually based on the Volcanic series of pistols and rifles. The Henry rifle was designed in the late 1850s by Benjamin Tyler Henry, and was an early example of a repeating rifle produced on a large scale. They saw limited use in the American Civil War by Union troops, and at a time when most soldiers were armed with single-shot, muzzle-loading rifles, the ability to fire repeatedly without reloading was a novel concept. However, the Henry was not without its drawbacks. The Henry was rather revolutionary for its time, though the original designer received little compensation due to the Volcanic Repeating Arms Company going bankrupt before the rifle was actually completed. After some corporate warfare, a forced buyout, and some restructuring, the Winchester Repeating Arms Company rose from the ashes. In 1866, Winchester redesigned the Henry, creating an internal tube magazine that was fed from the side rather than the front. This was called the King's Loading Gate System. The new arms company dropped the Henry name and reordained this rifle as the Winchester Model 1866. So, how do these Winchester rifles actually work? Early Winchesters use a toggle link system, shown here. The gun I will be using for comparison is actually a Winchester Model 1894, which uses a different locking system than the 1866, but is otherwise a functionally identical firearm. To operate the Winchester, the lever is pushed forward, cocking the hammer. This action also strips a round from the magazine tube into the cartridge elevator, which snaps up when the lever is fully forward. The lever is then pulled back towards the user, engaging the sear, pushing the elevated round into the chamber, and locking the bolt. The gun is now ready to fire. So there you have it, a quote-unquote Lancaster Repeater in real life. Now, while these Winchester lever guns are pretty cool because of the Old West vibes and how they make you feel like the Terminator, these things have a lot of problems. Despite the absolutely inhuman speed in which Arthur reloads the Lancaster in Red Dead, these things are actually excruciatingly slow to do so in real life. The cartridge elevator and even the lever itself are wonky and stiff. I also found out the hard way that firing a Winchester repeater with haste is legitimately painful. Once the bolt action rifle became popular in the 1890s, the lever action was essentially obsolete. 
However, for their time, the Winchester Repeaters were reliable, well-made guns that were versatile and handy. And it's no wonder they sold in the millions, revered by outlaw, hunter, and lawmen alike. They were an important next step in firearms development, and I just can't see how a game set in the old American West would not include such an iconic piece of history. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider throwing me a like or a comment and say what's on your mind. Until next time, Geo Echidna, signing off.